Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd touch on what I believe to be the greatest farming methods for some unfarmable food and ingredients. This includes berries, mushrooms, and most importantly for me, thistle, which I use alongside my fully automatic drogger farm to produce an unlimited supply of sausages. Link to that is down below if you're interested. Thanks again to my patrons and YouTube members. You guys help me out so, so much. I very much appreciate all that support. Now. Let's get into it. So I've set up this farm you see on screen that currently grows raspberries, blueberries, and thistle. It'll probably be in the thumbnail of this video. This is achievable in a solo world or a server that you own or have control of. I wish you could naturally plant items like this, but if you're still interested in getting something like this for your own world, I'll show you how that is done at the end of this video. Before that, I'll show you the fastest methods to farming berries, mushrooms, and thistle naturally with a a few examples. Surprisingly, a lot of people apparently struggle to obtain thistle, which I was not aware of. Now, if you're in that category, I'll solve your issue by the end of this video. So this first farming method requires a little bit of setup and preferably a portal. This can be done in extreme amounts and can get you hundreds of thistle in 30 minutes or so. And hundreds of thistle equals hundreds of sausages. So here you can see on the map, I've spent roughly around 10 minutes minutes quickly marking different thistle clusters I could find in this nearby black forest just for this video. The beauty of this farming method is that you can use portals and set up multiple black forests just like this no matter how far away they are and that's how you could get hundreds to close to a thousand thistle if you really wanted without having to wait for any to grow back. Don't do that, I definitely don't recommend it, a thousand thistle is a bit overkill and if you really wanted that much you could just wait for the ones you already have set up to grow back. Anyway, you're going to want to spend some time finding thistle clusters. I marked all the ones I could find just before recording this video. I 100% would have missed a bunch, but that is fine. It is all just for this example. Now I have set a portal up there so I can get there from anywhere I want. Doesn't matter where the black forest is, whether it's on another continent, body of land, it does not matter. Now before I show you this, I've just changed it to nighttime. Thistle is a lot easier to spot at night as it glows, so I definitely recommend doing that. Now what I'll do is run to the markers I've placed on the map and collect all the thistle I can. Having it marked out allows you to plot a pathway around the forest. I'll speed this up when editing so you don't have to watch me run around the entire time. I do want to point out that all the methods in this video can be used for mushrooms, thistle, and berries. This one is probably my preferred thistle farming strat as it is super simple and cheap. Now yes, this might seem tedious at face value, but if you've at least beaten the bone mass boss, these enemies are almost non-existent to you, so you could just breeze through and collect all your stuff. And if you really wanted, you could even mark berry bushes, mushrooms, and thistle and collect all three at once. That's a bit too much for me. I'm only after the thistle right now, so I'm just prioritizing that. Alright, so I've pretty much collected all the thistle I had marked in this area on the map. Now there were a couple clusters over here that I missed, but I'm too lazy to go collect them now, which is fine. Now I want to point out that that entire run took me around 8 minutes total, and it would have taken much less if I had my Ichthyr ability to help me with my stam. In my creative world, I haven't beaten any of the bosses, I don't have that ability currently. Now right here in my inventory is all the thistle I collected in only only those eight minutes. Now if I had that ability to help me with my stem, that could have been as low as five or six minutes, which is pretty insane considering you spend more time planting things like carrots usually, and this thistle will automatically regrow in the same parts that you collected them from without them needing to be replanted. Now the second strategy takes a little more effort to set up, but less effort to perform each time. This strategy involves building yourself a portal to large clusters you find around the map where you can harvest them and instantly teleport yourself back home. You can see here I've done it with a big thistle cluster and I can head straight back to my portal area in only seconds. This strategy works exceptionally well with berry bushes and the best part is that the clusters can be super far apart, it does not matter. Now if you want to make this cheap and optimize it very well, you can set up one portal at your base 
space and simply change the number in the name to swap it over to the next portal. Here I'll show you what I mean by placing down a portal for blueberries, raspberries and one for thistle. Now I like to place down a sign that tells you how many clusters you have set portals up with and all you'll have to do is change the name from BB1 to BB2 to BB3 and so on. As long as you've named all your respective portals the same thing, you will save half of your resources and use up a tiny fraction of the space. It becomes super neat and tidy and is a largely efficient way of farming any non-plantable resource. Now before I close off this video, I really want to show you how you can create your own berry or thistle farm like I showed you at the start of the video using creative mode. If you are an admin in your server or you're in your own solo or shared world, you will be able to do this. I will put up all the commands I use on screen and you just need to copy it so you can paste them over and over again. I like to build a barrier before I put in the bushes, then you can push your character up to the barrier and the bushes and thistle will spawn at an equal distance away from you, lining the crops up perfectly. Now here are the commands for the raspberries, blueberries and thistle. I'll leave a link to all the item commands in the description if you want to look at the other stuff you can also spawn in. Thank you so much for watching this video, please give the methods a try before you disregard them, you'll never have a berry or thistle problem ever again, I can assure you that. Thanks again for watching, subscribe for more and I hope to see you in a future video. Take care guys, peace.